Hi everyone, I'm Doug Black, Editor-in-Chief at Inside HPC, and today at SC21, we're with, we are with Vangel Bojaxi. He is Global AI and HPC Director at Inspur, which is focused on cloud computing, big data, server storage, HPC, and AI. Vangel, welcome. Thank you, Doug, for having me. I'm glad for this opportunity to talk with you again. Okay, well, so please start off by telling us about your major announcement at SC and uh, maybe some of the common application scenarios for this product. Yes, uh, first I'll provide some update on Inspur as leader in global data center and cloud computing solutions. In Q2 of this year, IDC ranked Inspur in top three of global server market by revenue and for the same period, Gartner ranked Inspur in top two of the server market by units. Specific for AI servers, according to IDC for the first half of 2020, Inspur was ranked top one in global AI server market with 16.4% of market share, and also top one in China with 56.8% of the GPU server market share. As you may know, Inspur servers are well known for delivering robust, performance-optimized, purpose-built purpose -built platforms for major data centers around the globe. Leveraging on its advanced HPC technology, since 2016, Inspur Information was focused on the emerging AI market. The company promptly responded with innovative products and heterogeneous computing, com computing solutions jointly designed with open computing organization and efficiently deployed from major cloud data centers to intelligent edge terminals and IOTs for data-driven operations. Regarding of cloud edges based on IDC, the intelligent edge terminals and IOT devices in 2025 will generate up to 175 zettabyte raw data from 18 zettabyte that was in 2018. To deliver the insight for this huge amount of data, AI model training of trillion of parameters are in process, enhancing computer vision, voice recognition, natural language processing, and much more sophisticated domain expert AI applications. IDC also predicts that the proportion of global enterprise edge computing will increase from 10% in 2020 to 50% in 2025, and the number of global intelligent terminals will increase, for 50, will increase from 50 billion to 150 billion. As workloads of data analysis, model, and reasoning increase rapidly, edge computing center will play a key role in providing computer power close to the data and meeting low latency requirements. To cope with this strong trend in, in cloud, AI, and edge computing, Inspur has designed a very rich portfolio of single, dual, and multi-process, multi-node, high-density servers with different hybrid accelerators. It includes many models of quite beefed up x86 AMD CPUs, and up to eight A100 GPU servers successfully deployed in multiple high-end high and HPC AI solutions and broke the record of four MLPerf training version 1.0 benchmark in 2020. Now this portfolio is enriched further with a new product four of four AI100 with NVLink GPU Redstone server uh, codename NF5448A6, announced at SC21. It is designed for HPC and AI scenarios, which can be satisfied by four GPUs computing performance, typically in edges, but not limited, such as metaverse, cloud gaming, autonomous driving, weather forecasting, and many other HPC applications. This server, NF5448A6, has four 80 gigabyte A100 GPUs with NVLink and two 80 watt AMD Milan CPUs, fully compatible with NVIDIA AGX A100 4 GPU design. This server performance delivers a communication bandwidth between GPUs 
of 600 gigabyte per second and the total bandwidth of 2.4 terabyte per second. The aggregate performance of two CPUs is 5.2 teraflop. Uh, four GPUs, uh, floating point, 64 bit floating point performance is 68, 78 teraflop and the TensorFlow 32 32-bit performance is 1.25 petaflops. This server, this server features strong IO subsystems expansion of five PCIe uh, version 4.16 standard slot to support fully speed operation of the latest HDR 200 gigabit InfiniBand cards, providing high bandwidth and low latency computing network between servers. Uh, it supports uh, eight uh, two and a half inch drives, four of, four of which can be configured as NVMe of 120 terabyte total capacity. It has uh, five NICs to meet customer need for dedicated networks for compute management and high speed uh, shared storage. Here wanted to stress out that this server has an excellent thermal design has separate CPU and GPU thermal section with GPUs in front for maximum cooling efficiency. Uh, support two 80 watt CPUs and four 400 watt GPUs air cooled in up to 35 degrees Celsius room temperature, ensuring long-term stability without reducing clock frequency. On the other hand, what uniquely differentiates Inspur from its competitor is a strategy not only delivering the server hardware like I mentioned so far, but to work with and provide to the customers a complete solution with immediate return on the investment. In this regard, specific for AI, Inspur has developed a four layer stack of AI portfolio, including AI computing platform, AI resource platform, AI algorithm platform, and the comprehensive AI solution platform, which is by itself is a quite complex subject that we might talk another time. Okay, great. So apart from this product launch, do you have other updates from Inspur, such as some, uh, some new research results? It is a thought provoking question indeed. At SC21, Inspur material science domain expert had a quite interesting talk for research they made in collaboration with the University of South Carolina about creating a more complete material science database that can be used as input for AI model training of this domain specific application. It is a unique combination of AI and HPC. As you know, in order to train high precision machine learning models, large scale, high quality, abundant and diverse input data are essential. However, the data for material science are small and scarce and the efforts to make a comprehensive system for their collection is still in infancy which is not the case for general, general AI related data already prevailing in internet and mass media. Meanwhile, high performance computing has created an important tool to produce large scale of data, thanks to the significant computing power increase that we're experiencing every day. Based on the above considerations, first, Inspur expert constructed a high throughput computational workflow in the framework of, of the density function theory and used, used it to perform all the calculation for electron charge densities, PR. Using the electron charge density to calculate bonding characteristic between neighboring atoms, they achieved to create a database containing 70,418 PR of cubic inorganic materials. To the best of our knowledge, there is no similar database available today even in the, in, the, in the materials project. Such database would certainly be very valuable for a wide diversity of electronic structure analysis and would be particularly useful for machine, machine learning studies. Fascinating. So uh, Vangel, please share with us key use cases of Inspur AI and HPC. Inspur AI and HPC solution have been applied to astronomy explorations, medicine, paleontology, wildlife protection, and so on. Here we have some examples. For astronomy, Inspur provides a strong com computing power support for the construction of the world first square array kilometer, SKA, original center. 
The Square Array Radio Telescope with the world's largest integrated aperture radio telescope for international community of astronomers, delivering combined diameter of one square kilometer. The goal is to study the origin of the universe, nature of gravity, dark energy, and dark matter, and many other unresolved mysteries of the universe. SKA's requirement for data computing are enormous. SKA generates more than 600 petabytes of cosmic observations per year. Such vast amount of data require in-depth analysis and processing before they can be used by the scientists. So all this will be accomplished in collaboration with original data centers located on several countries. Preparation for the China's SKA original centers, center is led by Shanghai uh, Observatory and INSPIRE provides powerful HPC and AI computing power support, including a leading I-48 supercomputing blade server and powerful AGX2 artificial, uh, artificial intelligence server. For healthcare, uh, we can uh, bring the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern University in Chicago, which is a leading medical institution that com is committed to improving human health through education and discovery. The school not only provides patient care, but also conduct cutting edge, that is cutting edge research that use AI to tackle and solve modern healthcare challenges. So far, they've been relying on legacy enterprise systems to manage daily operation and take care of patients. But for deep learning, they had to run separated data extraction and data cleaning projects. Currently in pilot testing, Northwestern Medicine has built a new high performance pipeline that allows deep learning experiment to take place fully integrated in line with school existing data flow in the enterprise data systems. For this, they are using state of the art of the uh, performance of the INSPOR NF5488M5D AI server, which provides significant per performance improvement not only in, in model training, but in overall project delivery. The new system uh, has uh, ex uh, demonstrated 10 times improvement uh, in model training speed and more than 100 times improvement in data preparations. Okay, well, great stuff. Uh, so today we've been with Vangel Bojaxi of INSPIR. And Vangel, great to be with you again, and I wish you a very successful SC21. Thank you, Doug, again for this interview with you. Hope that the audience will be more interested on INSPIRE AI and HPC offering in US and visit our website at https slash slash www.inspursystems.com. Thank you again. <laughs>